Leonardo Gomez is preparing for a dangerous journey. He wants to go to the United States, but first he must trek through a thick swathe of jungle known as the Darien Gap. Venezuela is going through a serious economic crisis, and for that reason we have to take risks and pursue the American dream. All we ask is that God guides us on this journey to seek a better life. Thousands of migrants from all over the world pass through the Colombian town of Necocli every month on their way to the United States. Here, they take boats to a small village where their trek through the jungle begins. Most come from South American countries, but there are also people from Haiti, Africa and China. Maria Rangel began her journey in Ecuador. She wants to join her husband in the United States. Taking this trek is my last option. I tried to get a visa, but it was very complicated because my children were born in different countries. According to the United Nations, last year more than 250,000 people made the journey across the Darien, which takes several days. This year there's already been 100,000 crossings. Analysts say that inflation in South American countries is pushing more people to take this risky route. So the capacity of a household to make ends meet has diminished and therefore they actually feel it in their own alimentation and the excess they have to basic products. But then there's also rising insecurity in countries such as Ecuador, uh, Chile, Colombia. But what we also see is that there is a global food crisis which might even trigger more migrants in the upcoming months. The U.S. government is now devising policies to discourage migrants from making the journey and providing alternative routes to the Darien. In January, the Biden administration said it would grant 30,000 visas a month to migrants from Venezuela, Cuba and Haiti if they have sponsors that will pay for their living expenses. U.S. officials also announced this week that they will open processing centers in Colombia where migrants can apply for visas. But many say the visas take too long to process and the requirements are hard to meet. So regardless of the danger, they'll take their chances in the jungle. Manuel Rueda, TRT World. Nekokli, Colombia.